as time goes on, there's fewer and fewer creators who are talking about Kylie Rodney. And at the moment, it seems like even some of the die-hard Kylie Rodney creators are shuffling away from talking about her case. I don't know if it's a sense of hopelessness, the sense that nothing we can do is going to make a difference, or if it's a sense of self-preservation. People have seen the way creators have been viciously attacked by people who don't want us to talk about Kylie and perhaps out of self-preservation they're deciding to look at other cases or simply go quiet. Either way, I thought this was a good bit of audio to listen to. I think we need to go back and start to pay attention to the things that were being said by Adventures with Purpose. Now this was said before the release of the autopsy when so many other creators decided that well if the autopsy says it said it was an accident must have been an accident and then they dropped the case but we know that there's so much more to it than the autopsy so have a listen to this conversation this was a panel on popcorn planet and this is Doug Bishop talking about Kylie's case. Uh, in this instance, as we're talking about Kylie, you were in talks with uh, the aunt, right, and the grandmother. There were m- members of the family that you were in talks with throughout the investigation? Uh, yes, absolutely. Correct. Um, that's who you called, I believe. I, it's not in the, I just forget who, which family members, but I just to give you guys credit, you yeah, were in yeah, talks out of, with out, those family out of, members. Out, out of respect for them, they, they uh, you know, we it, it's excluded that and but I can say that we were in talks with uh, the local sheriff's department uh, prior to coming. Um, it was a very in-depth invitation. Um, we were, there's a lot of, there's, this is actually an ongoing investigation as well. Uh, there, there's so much to this story that is still left to be told. Yep. Um, that's still being investigated. And uh, so, so a lot of the things, you know, I, I can't get into and I'll let you know, just ask away. I have no problem. Um, with it. But yeah, we, we were working with family on this as well as law enforcement. Um, you know, there was a lot of pressure on the immediate family with this case being a national headlines as well. You know, so there were uh, media walls as well as law enforcement walls around particular family members. Um, but, you know, dad and grandpa were there within 90 seconds of our notification. And um, as frustrated as where they were, they were very grateful, you know. Um, the range of emotions that they had on scene were tough. You know, you got to understand that at that time, what what we're doing is providing them the worst answer that you could be provided as a father, you know? So um, the the family knew what was going on every step of the way. Um, And uh, there's a lot of things I can't discuss though. There's a number of important things in this that I think we really should make note of. First of all, He talks about the invitation from law enforcement being in-depth. What does that mean for us? That means that Adventures with Purpose really did have a great deal of knowledge about the case when they went in and they discovered Kylie's vehicle. So when they've come out on their video and basically made it pretty clear that they believed that it was foul play and in later conversations on panels have said well it not just based on what you see on our video but information that we have this gives me some hope that there is still an ongoing investigation with CPS and FBI because If we're looking at what Adventures with Purpose are saying, they're saying that in their opinion, with all the inside knowledge that they have, that they believe that it is foul play. And while they did back off a little bit and were super careful about what they said with regards to this, it's been pretty clear that that's what they believed. Now, he also said... There is so much to this story that is still 
left to be told. That says a lot too. There's so much that we just don't know. And while we're here speculating and worrying that this means that Kylie's case might never be solved, based on what Doug's saying, it's quite possible that the reason that there is so little information out there is because investigators are still working on building a solid case and that there will be justice for Kylie. Doug says there's a lot of things that I can't get into right now. But here's the big thing for me, and I missed this way back when this first came out. And I'm not sure if anyone picked up on this when it first came out, but I think it is significant. I'm going to replay one little bit of the audio and listen to what he says. You know, so there were uh, media walls as well as law enforcement walls around particular family members. Now, we have observed in the past the fact that there was media walls around particular family members preventing the media from talking with them, protecting them from the prying eyes of the media. But we missed the bit where he said that there were also law enforcement walls around particular family members. Now, we see this in cases where there is an ongoing investigation and where family members have crucial information which is going to help to get a conviction. And those family members have been told by law enforcement not to share that information with people. We're talking about the family being so silent. We're talking about the friends being so silent. But here we have Doug talking about there being law enforcement walls around particularly fa particular family members. I think we can presume that there are probably also law enforcement walls around various individuals who attended the party. So to me it seems like maybe we can be confident that there is something happening in the background and the silence isn't about people not caring about people not coming forward for Kylie about parents who don't care over the loss of their child perhaps the silence is about people who have knowledge and have information that they've been asked to keep quiet for the sake of an ongoing investigation and for the sake of justice. Let's not lose hope. Let's keep Kylie's name out there so that people know that we are still fighting for justice for Kylie. But let's also not lose hope. Perhaps one day we will actually be surprised and there will be arrests which occur.